everyone. Today is Father's Day here in the United States and Mike and I are gonna go live. Honestly, I'm just gonna be real with you. My phone is super low on battery and I did not anticipate it to be and my phone chargers don't work. I need to get a new one. Um, so my phone battery might die before we're done. Just want you to know that going into this. So I believe that we're going to get as much as is supposed to come out here as, um, yeah, whatever. And I know that the last time I did this, it paused my words. So I'm just going to. Hello. Hey, somebody hey, say. brother. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm not a father, but it's Father's Day, and I feel like a father. I know. I definitely do, too. Like, so many times I picked up my phone to, like, text you Happy Father's Day, and I was like, yeah, you are, though. Like, yeah. I just, yeah, and, like, a whole thing behind that that we've talked about. But um, anyway, Happy Father's Day to you, too. Thank you. Appreciate this. <laughs> Oh, so you've had a big day. Yeah, it's been a day. I uh, woke up, had my own med self meditation, and went to Kundalini yoga meditation for the last two hours, and it was beautifully powerful. I feel like Sunday is your day. Like, like all the days are your day, but Sunday is like really your day. Like, I, I always know big stuff is coming on Sunday for you. Oh darn! I lost Mike. Shoot. Maybe we'll have him join back in in a second. Um, yeah, so today's Father's Day. And, you know, it's one of those days that for some people, it's like, oh, my God, I'm super celebrating the masculine. For other people, it's like, um, you know, feeling heartache and heartbreak for the masculine that's not there. And for others, it's a huge, oops, I just saw that Mike's questioning to join again. Um, for other people, it's a huge day of like this duality in betweenness of the masculine in your life, the father of your children, wanting to celebrate him for all the ways that he's been amazing and done great things. And at the same time, this like low lying underlying energy of like resentment and anger towards them and um feeling wrong about feeling that and having all these different things so like uh, there's just so many people experiencing so many different things around um fathers today and i just want to acknowledge all of you yeah, so hi really... again mike Hello. <laughs> yeah i um what was the last two words you said? You said resentment and anger. And this morning when I woke up and was doing my self meditation, uh, the word shame came to me so strongly. Um, my mother and I, as you know, I've recently reconciled and um, we were speaking the other day and, and the conversation was starting to cycle back um, similar to what, is, what have we been like in the past. And uh, the beautiful part from my end was that I was very present with it. I was able to understand exactly what was happening in every second with it. And um, towards the end of the conversation, my mother did as well too, excuse me, which was so beautiful to see her wow. do it. She, she actually, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll air her business. She started screaming, but not at me, just releasing her emotions. And on the other end of it, she was just like, ah. you could like feel it. She was just like, ah, it just felt so beautiful. But while the conversation was happening, you could see she was actively shaming herself. She was actively receiving my energy, my masculine energy. She was, what was present was masculine energy that had been conditioned in her. And through that, she was just feeling this shame and it was like overtaking her. She was having anger and resentment towards me, towards the masculine side of herself because she couldn't figure things out. You could just, you could just hear it in her voice. Um, so this morning, that was like two days ago this morning when, when I was doing my meditation, the word shame came to mind um, or into my energy field. It really just hit me. I was like, wow, the derivative of shame is the logical analytical mind. You know, if you really think about the idea like that, 
when we shame ourselves, that is our analytical mind that's been that is telling us something's wrong about us, that we're doing something wrong. And nine out of ten times, that shame was created at a young, younger age, and whatever we're being we're shaming ourselves for, whatever we're being shamed for, was created at a younger age. And whether it was coming from our mother or from our father, it was coming from the masculine energy, mm-hmm. from the analytical mind. And so you think about it, you hold on to that, to the shame when things pop up in our life, whether it's with our partner or whether it's with our family. It's not coming from a man or a woman or a human as much as it's coming from the masculine energy that that person holds. And you have anything come up for you right now? Uh, only the phrase that when we're in shame, we're disconnected from God. Mm, yeah. You know, so in, in what came to me today so strongly, and that's why I, I'm glad we get to bring it up and, and on a Father's Day as well, too, is honoring the, the masculine energies that they're always going to be there and we can't control them. We can only honor them. And the idea of when shame comes into our life, whatever it may be, whatever, whatever we're shaming ourselves for, to love it it's literally an indicator and i'm not saying live with it but it's literally an indicator that whatever you've been cycling through 100 times in your life 1000 times in your life is coming up right there in that moment for you to honor what you're cycling through and the the moment we can realize like oh my analytical mind just shamed me myself oh what am i doing right now oh how many times have I done that same thing and cycle through that same thing and I don't want to cycle through it any longer? And before you know it, you then can see clearly what you're doing in the moment, which you've mm-hmm. never seen it before. And it's such a simple thought process, but then you're like, oh, I now know what I'm doing and I don't, and I don't want to do it anymore. Now, of course, of course, that could be the fearful part of releasing what we're doing that we're shaming ourselves for. But when we understand that we're doing it and why we're doing it, who conditioned us to do it, who told us to do it, who shamed us years ago for, for not doing it or doing it, and we start to honor that, then we can then rewrite the story right there in that moment on how we want to do it, on how we desire to do it, how we desire to do it so we won't shame ourselves for doing it, whatever it may be. It might be showing up, having conversation with a partner. It might be the way that we eat food, we chew food. Where we overeat sometimes when we're when we're when we're when we're, when we're nervous and when we're fearful. You never know what it will be. Absolutely, that was really well said. <laughs> I'm like, yes, just all I gotta say is yes. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I feel like you like your Sunday mic is like, man, just comes in and just yeah, you're just like every day you're such a powerful human but Sundays I feel like it's just whoa and I'm Thank just you. in awe of the greatness Thank of you my <laughs> yeah I've been, been sitting with myself for the last two hours um breathing my eyes closed I'm always in awe when when, when the kundalini session is ending and I'm like wow I haven't had my eyes open for two hours and then it's like you know just to slowly like rebirth into the world like oh here we are I always feel so good. Yeah, you know, have you heard of, um, I can't remember what it's called, it has a name, but when people will go out into, like, spaces where, uh, like, it's like a sensory deprivation, but, like, they don't, they have something, like, cover their eyes and they're, like, underground for, like, I think it's a couple weeks. No, I haven't. Oh, wow. I've, like, seen videos of people, like, like, as they take the thing off of their eyes and it is just it's wild mm. to watch someone yeah. come back into vision after not seeing anything for weeks. Yeah, wow, I'd love, I'd love to experience that. You know, because we're saying it, and we're speaking about the physical right now, but one thing I started saying about the last, that, that last year or so, maybe two years ago, I was like, I realized like, oh, when my eyes are closed, I see more clearly mm. and I feel, things so much more deeply without touching them these days and I was, I was like feel into those two things about how much like we don't necessarily 
necessarily meet our eyes as much as we do, but how much we see more when we learn to not have to need them. Yeah, really cool. and how manipulated our eyes are by everything around us when we're exposed to things that aren't just like nature. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, <laughs> man, speaking of nature, I, I, I went to the coffee shop this morning and I was, I was like, I'm not supposed to get coffee. So I didn't get it. I never have coffee before Kuna mm-hmm. I, I got in line. I waited in line. I got to the front of the line and uh, Michaela was there. The, the barista said, I'm supposed to get you kumquats. And I just left and I went and rode my scooter to the kumquat tree and I'm coming back from the kumquat tree. I just picked these fresh kumquats. I have nine of them for her and the other coworkers and a hawk just lands right next to me. I mean, I'm talking about, I didn't have my phone on it. So I couldn't take a video literally four feet and just stares at me. I'm just staring at it as on the VA, the, the veteran administration, the VA grounds, I'm in the street. It's on the, it's on the grass. And we're just, I'm like, as I said, I said my mantra and I said, I, I love you. It felt like father energy to me. I said, I, mm-hmm. I love you. And I went on. It was so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, I mean, like, magical. Uh, I feel like birds, especially for me, when they, like, when birds stop to connect with me, there is, like, a whole other thing going on there that is so beyond, like, this earth situation. Birds are so just doing their own thing. They just live, taking flight. The best when they're just soaring in the air and just there being, you can just see them just using all the, the wind channels and just, just flowing. Yeah, it's so special. They're living a totally different experience. And I think it's no surprise that a lot of people want to know what it feels like to be a bird. Like what it feels like to just be flying up high and why... <laughs> Like wingsuits were invented and all of that. Why? Why Josh, your husband, jumped off the the mail the the post office uh with like with a five foot counter. He said, "I'm much mom. I can fly." Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh! Like for yeah, since then, since I've known Joshua, it's like he's always believed that humans could have the ability to fly if they uh, tapped like- into it. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother thing. Another day. Yeah. <laughs> for a whole nother day. But I will say this to also tie in another thing. You went to go get kumquats. Mm. I had kumquats on my avocado toast this morning. Yeah. It was, I love it was that. so good. I cannot even tell you, but it, we were totally yeah. talking about you and thinking about you because you always like come bearing fruit. <laughs> yeah. I love and I it. love it. Yeah, I've got a kumquat tree, a low quad tree, and an orange tree. And they're just the best. And most people don't even eat them because they're just like, what is this? What do I do with this thing? And they're so vibrant for our bodies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when my kid was like, did you just go to the store and buy these? I was like, no, I went to the tree and picked them. And like, she was just like, what? She couldn't figure it out. It was amazing. <laughs> For anybody watching, like, the Tarnovsky brothers are my favorite for, like, the way that they do things that most people are just not even thinking about doing life. Like, Mm. so far beyond, like, the average person's way of doing, way of being, way of thinking that, like, people are consistently just like, you did what? Or what just happened? happened to you or what experience did you just have like like the amount of times i've had conversations with josh or mike this is why i wanted to be a part of this family this is why i wanted to like you know just be around this because i live my life that way too i've met a lot of people who do that but like the way you two do it like i would say it's so far beyond how i even do it like when i met y'all i was like what I love this <laughs> because you just do, you look at life differently. You do things differently. You experience life differently. And it is, it is, it's like living like a bird, but being a human. Being free. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. I like that. Yeah. I, I acknowledge you for that. That is just so yeah. special. And like, I get to witness it a lot when I'm around you two or one of you. And it's just like, people are just like, what yeah. you could just see their paradigm shifting and their world changing and their like th- thought patterns evolving as they just observe this thing that you thought to do that humans don't normally do <laughs> you know i'm, I'm going to bring it back around because if anybody's watching this and they, and they watched early on if they watch it later on they watch the earlier part one, 
One thing that I, I know is that I, I got over, I realized like when I would do things, I would all, people would always be like, what's, why, why did you do that? Or how did you do that? Or why did you, and I'm like, oh, I, I would always say, I don't know, I'm just different. And that was like, a, 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 I've consciously became aware of myself saying that because it was, I was actually shaming myself and it was like mm. for being, seeing differently. It was, there's the shame coming up. And then I've actually just honored it to learn to love it and realize like, wow, if I actually define that's how I live my life and honor it in that way, there's no, I never longer, I no longer have to shame myself for it any longer, which is such a simple little thing of saying, I would say, I would say, literally would say to them, I, I'm just different. I was like, it was like I was embarrassed to be different by saying that I was calling out I was different. It's okay to be different. It's okay to see the world differently. And I, I didn't always realize that, you know, I'm, and obviously thank you for the love that you're pouring into it now. And, you know, people do love to see life being lived differently. And that's, that could be in any facet for getting me going out to a fruit tree. That could be just showing up in your park partnership like you might show up in your partnership different than you've ever seen somebody else show up in a partnership and next thing you know you change somebody's whole paradigm life and shift you change their whole life because they see somebody else showing up in, in a relationship different than how they would ever think to because you're just standing in your power in it because you're honoring us how you do it you know, no shame yeah i'd imagine there's a lot of people who are watching this who also feel that they are different from a lot of people in this world and don't let themselves fully be that and like probably don't let themselves be that around their partners because they might think that's weird to be like that and if you are watching i just want you to know you found your people yeah. <laughs> number one and number two it's actually one of the greatest gifts and blessings to be in that level of freedom um, and like mike's saying like when we choose to own that then we can go about the world differently and then different people will respond differently to us our part whether it's our partner or like someone we work with or someone that is um just a random stranger at the grocery store mm -hmm. when, you, when you give yourself permission to be your truest self you are also then giving people permission to be their truest self and they start to stay they feel it through you they genuinely do and that they also know when you're not doing it too. I came out of Kundalini. I was that I was I was on my scooter, had a little bird, little two wheel bird scooter. I came out and I get to the the stop sign. I'm about to turn right, and all the cars in the street just stopped. Like there was there was no reason for them to stop for me. And I just like looked up and I was like, "What are they doing?" And I was like, "Oh." I was like, man, my energy must be emanating right now. And I just like, all right, I'm listening. I just turned on the sidewalk and scooted on. There was no reason for them to stop for me at all. It was really cool. Oh my like, gosh, energy on fire! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have that happen frequently too, where I'll just be out somewhere and something will be happening, and I'm just like, whoa, why did that happen? And then I'm like, no, I'm vibing it. Yeah. Like I'm putting it out there. They're responding yeah. to me. Okay, yeah. like cool that's a great uh reflection back i love that i love that you i'm not surprised about that at all i would imagine that probably happens a lot <laughs> with you i appreciate it yes uh, i mean it does when i'm around you so like especially then it's definitely uh an, an indicator and a confirmation that i'm i'm, I'm uh being present with myself it is it is yeah. Um, speaking of the scooter, Fries really wants to ask you. He's going to be asking you this. Um, heads up. He saw some kids on scooters that were doing jumps, and he's, like, super hype, and he's definitely going to ask you if he can do jumps on your scooter with you the next time you all hang out. We, uh, I, I knew this day was coming. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. I, love it. I feel we all did. Yeah. yeah, it was just a matter of time before he's he's uh, working on movies with me as a stunt man. I can just imagine. I can just see it now. I know you've been saying that for a while. Yeah. Like, Fries is about to be like a stunt man in movies. But yesterday, after when you left to Facetime, it was just he and I. I was working out, and um, he just started practicing falling. He was like running at the camera and then tripped himself <laughs> and fall. And I was like, "Good." I was like, "Great." 
fall. He's like, thank you. And he'd get up and try it again. Like he was like, he was like watching himself fall in the, in the, in the camera. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, really yeah cool. he's been like pretty interested in that lately. I've noticed that, like uh, falling well and then like having like a really good time and like enjoying it after. Yeah, I have to get him on set with a couple stunt guys and check it out. Yes, cool. he, he will love that. Yeah, yeah. He kept running inside and being like, "Hey, mom, can I bring the workout bands outside? Hey, mom, can I open the gate so I can like do a sprint with Mike and so he can oh, yeah. see me do a sprint like." that was just so sweet and inspiring like for anybody obviously nobody else was there it was just Mike and Fries but right. um, Mike was working out after we did our live stream yesterday which you all saw Mike started to work out Fries wanted to FaceTime with him and um so they were hanging out like that and um then they ended up going outside and I guess you guys were working out together right yeah yeah he's working out that was sweet sweet that's awesome. one of the coolest things. I love the relationship you two have. Thank you. So do you. Appreciate it. Right, let's wrap it up. We uh we've been off about fifteen minutes now, so probably no, I'm sure almost twenty minutes now. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks for bringing your magic today. Thank you to everybody who's watching that brought their magic and joined us live or on the replay, the recording. My phone stayed going, which obviously it was meant to capture all of this so grateful for that i hope all of you have a beautiful day honor your bodies today drink lots of water it's a, definitely a big day to drink a lot of water and um we'll see you on a live soon love ya love you love you mike love everybody watching bye uh.